What's up guys? You probably saw a video maybe a few days ago, maybe a week ago, I'm not sure when I put it up, when I was at the Tesla model, not even a model, the Tesla semi-truck event in California. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> right now it's before that event, so I don't even know what was launched there. I'm excited to find out what it's gonna be in a few hours, even though you guys already know. So behind me, I have the three mass-produced cars that Tesla has done, or is going to do. We've got the Model S, which we've owned. We have the Model 3, which is pretty new, and a lot of people don't have it yet, but it's gonna be huge at some point. And then also the Model X. And so, do you guys remember last year, we went on a trip and we saw, I think we titled the video, You've Never Seen a Tesla Like This. That was our friend Ben from Unplugged Performance. And I figured since I'm in California and the semi truck is literally right next door, we had to go say hi to him and see what he's up to right now. But there's a few things that I wanna learn about this car, about maybe some modifications that we should do to our Model X, maybe, and um, to make it a little bit faster or make it look better. But we're gonna learn a little bit about what they do at Unplugged Performance. But I've got two Bens with me. Ben, if you guys remember him from the video, I'm gonna put that clip in right now. So check this out, Unplugged Performance. We like supercars. We wanted to make this more like a McLaren or a Lamborghini to give a feeling of a carbon fiber car. This is our other friend Ben. He has a channel called Tesla Nomics. There's another car that's going to be coming out soon. And what is the official name of this car? The, the ne Next Gen Roadster, I think. There's a car called the Next Gen Roadster. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to put a picture right here. It looks like super futuristic. <laughs> Ben won one. He gets one for free, like 102% off. He won a competition <laughs> where he referred, I don't know, over $6 million worth of Teslas. Is that about right? Does that sound right? For the year, over $6 million. For this competition, <laughs> of over five. Yeah. That is crazy. crazy. In like three months. It, it was a short window. It is so crazy. So yeah. Tesla is such a cool company. They have people refer the cars and because the cars are so cool, they'll go ahead and refer them. So the one thing that I thought was interesting is when I watched your video, you, you didn't even seem all that excited. <laughs> Like I would have been pumped. I didn't want to. I didn't want to come across as like uh, you know putting it in people's face that I won or any of those kind of. Because some of your Tesla YouTuber friends probably were in the in the running too. Well, right? yeah, all of us that are kind of that are right there are all we all know each other. So I didn't want to like throw it out there. But okay, but I'm sure off camera he was like, yes, I just won the roster. He's like running around the house. I know what happened. He doesn't have to admit it, but I know what happened. So Ben from Unplugged Performance. This is not a commercial. He did not sponsor this video. We are just down here, and it was so cool when we met him at one in the morning at that station I was so excited to see that Tesla that I wanted to learn a little bit more so Ben if you wouldn't mind we're gonna go can we go over and like learn some things about the Tesla Model X and what, what you guys do totally okay a lot of people talk about range on Tesla's it's really important to be able to have your battery last for a long time our Tesla should get around 300 305 but it really in real reality it says like 295 I don't know if it's protecting me from something if you have a car that doesn't weigh as much it should save you on your energy possibly, but then also on your get up and go, like on your acceleration. All right, what are some of the things you've done to this car to make it so it actually can have less weight? When you look at Tesla's website, I believe they can actually see a range increase or decrease based on which wheel choice you choose. And it's actually true. You'll get different range based on the wheels you use. And that has a lot to do with the weight of the wheel. Tesla, I believe the range is about 10 to 15% on some of the cars. People have reported upwards of 20% on the Model X with 22 inch wheels versus 20. It's a sad fact that I have to choose between what looks cool versus what will get you uh, a further distance of travel. So we try to do both. The wheels that we make are definitely more expensive than the wheels that come on the car. And there's a reason for that. It's just much more expensive to make forged uh, wheels. Okay, so to that point, that's a really good point. You probably didn't see this, Ben, but I did a video getting rid of our Tesla. And I was kind of trolling people because you don't see videos of people just getting rid of it. Yeah. So I listed all the reasons why we were getting rid of it. And one of the main one was it was a rear wheel drive car. And yeah. in Utah, I had the 21 inches on there yeah. and the performance was terrible. Like we couldn't even drive in that much snow. It was too dangerous. So everybody's like, well, you should have got 19 inch wheels. I don't want 19 inch wheels. I don't want that. It's a Tesla Model S. It's a beautiful car. It's fast. It's sexy. I don't want it. So that makes sense. Like this one, you're getting the bigger tires, but you, they're, they weigh less. Yeah, so, so you're faster, we're, we're right? able to make a 22 inch wheel that weighs about 22 pounds, which is lighter than most car companies make 19 or 18 inch wheels. It's not gonna help you in snow because a lot of that has to do with the tire you choose as well. Yeah. But overall, there's something to be said about taking weight out of the car, especially off the wheels or off the brakes. You'll notice our brakes are super excessive on this car, but they're really cool. And they're, they're so carbon big. ceramic rotors. So it brakes exceptionally well at high speed, which for this being a P100D is a useful uh, attribute to have but besides that they're actually much lighter as well even actually the lug nuts if you look at it 
notice they're a different color. They're blue and they're titanium lug nuts that are, I believe, 46% lighter than the factory lug nuts. In our case, if we can get 100 pounds out of the car in key areas of the car, it actually will make a difference as far as range. Let's say that your car comes out, your, your Roadster, your fancy car comes out like next week. If he brought it here, like what kind of thing would you want to do to it that you could think of to make it faster? Or would you even need to? Because it's already fast enough. I'm totally putting you on the spot. I didn't even prep you with this at all. The first question would be whether you'd want it to be any faster. It already is going to be ridiculous. Yeah, I think I'm still fascinated with the idea of breaking that two second barrier at zero yeah. to 60, which there's no practical need for that. Sure. But I would love to see because I understand it's there is a, a, a theoretical limit yeah. based on the physics of just how cars work that if you don't have drag racing tires or something like that, it yeah. won't work. So I'd be really curious to figure out what we could do that is somewhat practical to you know break that barrier. This will be the first time that any car has broken two seconds at zero to 60. All right, we're giving you a uh, impromptu what's inside video right now. If you ever wonder what's inside a Tesla airbag on the car, well, here's the front of it. And uh, here's the back, you can see. Watch it just explode in my face like right now. But yeah, that's kind of funny, you just randomly had this. What's cool about it though, is it makes it look like the inside of the car is completely autopilot. Look at that, that's what it looks like when it's off right there. Can you see that right there? Like as you turn it, you can see the little gear that runs through it. Oh, that's super interesting. I did not intend on showing you this, but that is super cool. Okay. Now, the inside of this car, you know we are big BYU sports fans. Blue and white, Lincoln's room is blue and white. We love them, blue and white. This car is sweet, so you'll never see a Tesla like this. Never in the world, except for this one. Check out this blue leather. This is the factory leather right here. This blue leather right here, and right there. I'm getting in it. I probably should have asked. This blue leather right here is from a Rolls Royce. They actually sourced it from Germany. Some of the Rolls Royces, they make it with blue leather. And so this guy was like, hey, I want to have blue leather. So they reached out to some company, some supplier in Germany that makes the blue leather. And here we are sitting in a Tesla that has blue fancy, fancy leather. So the exact cost of this car is somewhere around a quarter million dollars, maybe more. I don't know the exact amount, but it is somewhere around there with all the modifications. This is carbon fiber. This is real carbon fiber on here. This isn't some wrap that is placed on there. But they actually put carbon fiber on here, on here, all along this. Down here is all carbon fiber. All right, one thing that you'll notice on this Tesla that's different than my Model X is right here, it, there's a lip that comes out more. It just comes out. Because of that, look at the logo. It's like almost if you're sitting straight up, you can't really see it because it's on such an angle here. What is the thinking behind this? This part right here. Why is it sticking out? Well, for one, it looks awesome. That's always important. <laughs> that is good. But, you know, usually people add wings and they go really high and that creates downforce and creates drag. So the car basically will lose range. This is super sleek. It actually doesn't stick up at all. It just kind of comes out. And it's really just designed for airflow management just to bring air off the back of the car in a really seamless way. So it's sleek and it's kind of a, a modern aerodynamic version of a racing wing, but more for aero efficiency than for downforce. So to give you an idea of what the heck he's talking about, here's a car over here. Some of you guys will know what it is in the comments. I'm not much of a car guy other than Tesla. I think it's called a get her done. Get her done. So it's called. It's called a get her done. Check out this. This is what he's talking about. This is what a race car has. This giant spoiler that puts all this downforce on here so that when you're driving, these tires will stick to the ground more. That's that mostly. It does not help range. It does not, huh? Not Kills you. All. But you look cool. You get her done on the racetrack. It's a GTR, I know it is, but get her done sounds funny because I'm dorky. So Model S, Model 3, Model X. Let me know in the comments, like even the grill, the front of this is different looking. That is all replaced. So we just showed you a bunch of things with the Tesla. We've got the interior on the Model X that's different. We've got the wheels and the brakes that are different. But then we also have the back that is different with the sticking out. You know me, I wanna do all of them to the car. You know Leslie, she's really economical and she won't wanna do all of them. Let me know in the comments, like which one of these things do you think is cool? What things do you think that we should do to our actual Model X, if anything, to make it look better? We did the but I think we need to do a little bit more. We're gonna go make a video right now with everybody, both Ben's on your channel and talk about your car, cause your car, what year is that? 2013. 2013. Just, you had a 2013 also, I right? did too. So yeah. I'm curious, we're gonna talk about things that maybe I didn't like about the Tesla Model S that maybe could be fixed and he may even do some of those things or sell his car. So go check out the video. We'll link it right here. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.